The hatch is back, my asshole quivering. Time for another review. Flowers of Evil, 13 episodes, early 2013 vintage. Now, it's been uh, three or four months since I've seen this and I took regular breaks in uh, watching it. This is uh, quite the uh, psychological thriller and an absolute head basket, um, head fuck. Uh, content extremely significant. Uh, definitely would recommend the kids to stay the fuck away from this. <laughs> Regardless, um, in the way of a story, this is being done so well. The uh, animation is uh, a tad bizarre, very uh, different, um, very art house though. How it goes is you've got this uh, kid stuck in a um, middle of nowhere, rustic, uh, falling apart town. Everybody knows everybody, quite conservative, and um, if you're caught doing the slightest small thing, all the families talk about it, your parents are going to harp on. So everyone's keeping his stiff upper lip. Uh, they're uh, very self-conscious, and it's a community of uh, being trapped by the surrounding mountains of this village. So this uh, individual, the main protagonist, thinks um, he's a genius and is uh, trapped in his own uh, turmoil, uh, very mopey, miserable, soft-cocked individual. He comes across this um, young girl with glasses that has a very sadistic and evil fucked uh, head and accidentally gets uh, caught or seen with another girl's uh, gym uniform. Um, being labelled as a pervert. The next day he goes to school, there's a big hoo-ha of um, a very dangerous pervert running around town and the entire town is talking about it and very, very scared. The girl with the glasses, the evil bitch, uh, she's the only, do uh, the only chick that saw and knows of the dude who stole it. Uh, she's very interested in him bringing out his inner perv and being um, a disgusting fuckwit, wearing clothes, masturbation, what not he encourages and pushes him further and further to do uh, more disgusting things to some less uh, turn her on besides that she's seen as being extremely weird and antisocial uh, crass vulgar and this kid being innocent as uh, fuck uh, is being dragged along and it's tearing him apart inside to uh, top it off and make it more complex, the uniform he stole from the other girl is his uh, crush, a very innocent um, school beauty, and uh, he finally gets the courage to talk to her after the uh, incident. Now, I'm not going to get further into explaining the story because there's a lot of uh, plot twists and a lot of things that are just very interesting. Um, it is an experience where you are sitting on the edge of your chair constantly, and a lot of the turns are either a lot more extreme than you expect and it's impossible to predict the direction this uh, programming is going. kind of makes you feel very um, anxious and uncomfortable while watching. More or less, if you're looking for a really hard-hitting, different, interesting anime and just sick of um, the same blase bullshit happening over and over again, you just want to mix it up and just see something that's just completely different, <coughs> clearing the freight because I don't give a fuck about eating. <laughs> Check this out. This is just something that is uh, completely balls to the wall different. Uh, I don't know if I enjoyed it. <laughs> I uh, it's, it's just watching it and watching it and watching it. Episode would just appear to take forever and you're waiting for the next thing to happen and then bang and it's reaction time for a while and you just sit back like what? And to top it off, to make things even worse, this is only the first season. Apparently this production is to be continued and re or be re released as a season two. So I'm not 100% sure I'll continue watching it. If I come across it, I will grab it and watch it. If I don't, I'm not going to be running out looking for it. Though uh, definitely people who are interested in their psychological thrillers, in a well-told story, in something that's just difficult, impossible to 
predict or that's not your normal genre of a high school anime pervy no way check it out thank you very much peace the fuck out